My name is H.J. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterprobo.com. Support the counter purpose site through the Amazon links and donate button. Share the petition below to get the DNC to give its computer servers to the FBI. Also, please go ahead and share the latest article on counterproba. It is actually Debbie, the Democratic Party's anti-grassroots. And it's by Zach Holler. Great, amazing writer. Brilliant article uh, that he wrote. He's the first person published aside from me in Counterpropa. Very proud and very honored to have Zach uh, in Counterpropa. Actually, Debbie, the Democratic Party is anti-grassroots. Debbie Wasserman Schultz stated the Democratic Party was grassroots. We all know the truth. President Trump breaks his campaign promise of not engaging in regime change. This is just a fact. This is not me saying anything that's not true. It's a fact. Dozens of U.S. missiles hit air base in Syria. The United States carried out a missile attack in Syria on Thursday night in response to the Syrian government's chemical weapons attack this week that killed more than 80 civilians. We don't know if it was the Syrian government. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's number one. We don't know if it's Assad. So... It could be another Gulf of Tonkin. It could be another Saddam WMD. And the rebel groups have been known to commit atrocities and then blame Assad. That's number one. Number two, he, Obama already sent soldiers to Yemen and to Syria. Trump campaigned on being less hawkish from Clinton. Number three, I never, I never said that Trump was the lesser evil because Clinton, only because Clinton was more hawkish. I said Trump was the lesser evil, and I still believe that even tonight, even though he's breaking his promise, because you cannot have a Democrat advised by neocons. Now, if the Republican does what he's going to do as a Republican, that's one thing. You know your political adversary is going to act a certain way. If the only opposition to that political adversary actually is just a little less, a little less hawkish, or in Clinton's case, more hawkish, the paradigm needs to completely be dismantled. You have a two-party system to have opposing views, not one parties, not, not a one-party system on war and foreign policy, which is turning into the speed at which the uh, Trump administration responded in remarks earlier in the day by American officials who said that option was still being entailed. The element of surprise, okay. It was Trump's first order to the military for use, uh, first order to the military for the use of force which he can do under the authorization for use of military force without Congress. All the people who didn't care that Obama acted unilaterally so many times through the AUMF now suddenly care with Trump, which is amusing, not amusing, but sad. Give me your thoughts below. Trump breaks campaign promise of regime change in Syria. This is the first steps to regime change. So, and this is exactly what the neocons want. And they're bullying Trump. Just, I'm just stating facts. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so